Hello everyone, 30th of June, 30th, 30th of June 2022, so I've just been under a house today, uh, checking some rat traps under the hot tub and there was a squirrel in one of the rat traps, a dead squirrel, and one of the other rat traps there, which I set among rocks every time, there was a rat in that trap. So, and that trap and set in the rocks gets quite a few, but I went into another house with my vacuum cleaner, and that's what I got. That was just, that was only what was on top of the hot water tank. I set uh, eight traps in that cupboard, hot water tank cupboard last night, and, uh, and in the surrounding area, outside the hot water tank cupboard, which is under a house. I've set eight traps there, didn't catch anything last night, but it's early days. But I did vacuum out the hot water cylinder cupboard. And it's had a big rat living in it for quite a while. But there is a feral cat hanging around there, a black feral cat, so it could be that the big rat got caught. Because it seems he's been in there for about a year, according to the renters. The tenants in there think, think the rat has been living in there hot water cupboard for about a year in which case he must be getting pretty old maybe he died of old age or maybe the cat the feral cat that goes under there they've seen this big black cat going under there and the house maybe that got the rat but one night that's early days we're gonna leave those traps set for about another six nights or so at least and see what really happens there patience is a very important ingredient when you're trapping rats don't expect to get him the first night or the second night. You might not get him till the tenth night. So patience. Okay. And that's a good load of rat poop to get out of uh, living space. Human living space. Okay. Keep trapping. Bye for now.